Hi everyone and welcome to the Dundas of Tomorrow project. Hamilton's built heritage inventory strategy has been in the works for over 30 years and currently lists over 6,000 addresses in total. Essentially, built heritage gives us insight into Hamilton's history. It aims to tell us what properties are of cultural heritage value or interest and where these properties are located. Ongoing projects in the region include the Beasley Neighborhood Project, the Lansdale Neighborhood Project, and the Downtown Dundas Project. To identify properties that are important to the community, the city conducts property surveys, research, interviews and focus groups, and community outreach events. Projects are assisted by volunteers, heritage committee members, and city staff. Identified properties are then added to the Municipal Heritage Register, an official record of the cultural heritage properties in the region that is accessible to the public. As mentioned, one of the ongoing projects in Hamilton is the Downtown Dundas Project. Dundas is a community within Hamilton with a population of just over 24,000 individuals. As seen on the graph, individuals over the age of 50 years make up a significant portion of the Dundas population, especially in comparison to younger populations and relative to the rest of the City of Hamilton. In past built heritage projects, City of Hamilton staff have noticed that the individuals part participating in conversations related to heritage property designation are generally aged 50 and over. As a result, this demographic is dominating the discussions surrounding built heritage and property preservation in the Dundas community. Other perspectives, such as the perspectives of youth, are often missing from these conversations. Our project aims to increase the diversity of perspectives shared in built heritage projects conducted in Dundas, Ontario. Given that the built heritage projects generally only engage perspectives of older adults, our team hopes to develop materials and strategies to engage with underrepresented communities in Dundas more effectively, based on guidance from our community partners and literature related to the topic. By doing so, we hope that built heritage projects better represent the diversity of Hamilton's population and the unique perspectives of underrepresented populations in the community. Taking all of this into account, our group is investigating how we might effectively engage youth aged 15 to 24 in built heritage projects in order to create a more representative sample of the Dundas community. Over the past academic year, our group has been developing recruitment and educational materials and strategies in order to create recommendations for youth engagement in the context of built heritage projects. These materials and recommendations are informed by both the needs of the City of Hamilton and relevant literature, including accessibility research and youth engagement strategies. For recruitment materials, we have mainly been developing materials for survey and focus group recruitment. Social media is a useful tool for youth engagement. Thus, we have focused on developing materials specifically for recruitment on social media, as well as strategies for youth engagement over social media in order to maximize the city's reach. Additionally, given that the youth perspectives are missing from past built heritage projects, we have been creating educational materials for this demographic to help them learn more about built heritage and encourage them to get involved in current and future projects. In terms of next steps, our group will continue with the development of recruitment and educational materials informed by our community partners' guidance and background research. We hope to come out of this project with a comprehensive community engagement tool, complete with recommendations for how to effectively engage with youth in the context of built heritage projects, in order to create a more representative sample of the Dundas community.